what about the market size? And the thing is, especially if it's an emerging market and there's no market, what is the size of a non-existing market? All right, let's talk about it. Um, again, most people use a top-down uh, way to approach to size the market. The healthcare market is a trillion, $1.7 trillion. If we conservatively win 1% of that, we're a $17 billion company. First year, second year, right? I'm telling you, investors hear this about 10 times every day, okay? If we win 1% of that market, we're a $17 billion company. Now, why do entrepreneurs do this? Because, A, they believe that investors want to see a multi-billion dollar market. And it's true, right? But also, B, they see large company executives doing this. You know, 957 million phones, 1% of that. We're going to do 10 million phones in 2008. Steve Jobs, right? This is before they came up with, you know, iPhone, right? Why not? If it's good enough for Steve Jobs, it's good enough for me, right? These are multi-billion dollar companies already. Now, and this, this is not bad to sell an idea by the way. But this is useless to develop a product, okay? Um, so it, it may help you summarize, blah, 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 but if you want to develop a product strategy, it is worse than useless. How do you do it? You use something called Total Available Market, or TAM, okay? What is a TAM? A TAM, actually there are three variations, and they're all fine. You can use any combination of these. One is, um, what is the total number of potential customers in your target market? Now, remember I said every segment has to be measurable? Well, that's the number, okay? What is the potential number of users? Another way to do the TAM is, what is the total, potentially, number of units sold into the market? Assuming that, you know, users are going to buy more than one unit, then what is that potential uh, TAM? And the one that's used the most is, what is the total dollar revenue number from uh, the above potential market. Now, let's do that number. Now, but this is a big reminder, big caveat. TAM is not your market, it's the total pie that everyone, all your competitors, you and all your competitors are going after. It's not your market. Okay, Every, anybody who says that's my market is flunked hereby, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, it's a total pie. So, TAM number one, the number of potential users, let's go after the Nile independent truck drivers, 300,000 independent truck drivers in the US. This is an actual number, okay? or close to actual. 300,000 independent truck drivers in America. Now, here's another concept. It's average revenue per user, uh, ARPU. So average revenue per user is the product plus service revenue uh, that you can get per user. Now, you need to break down to do this, the potential revenue into, if you are gonna make money from advertising, or from unit sales, from service, from finan financial, uh, you know, whatever, uh, points or whatever, right? So you, know, you have to break it up. 
you add it all up, and that's the ARPU. Okay? So in this example, uh, if we're going to do the tailpipe exhaust to power product, say the retail price is 1500 to 2500 depending on the size of the truck. So the average is 2000 The services, I don't know, GPS location or the uh, iPod app or whatever, is going to be 100 to 500 Insurance. So basically the ARPU is going to be 2300 Does that make sense? Average revenue per user. Okay, let's put it all together. So the product is the tailpipe exhaust to power. That's going to go into trucks. Target market, independent truck drivers in America. What's the TAM? ARPU is 2300. There are 300,000 potential users. Multiply those numbers. 300,000 times 2300 is, if I did my numbers right, $690 million potential market. Notice that market does not exist. Okay? It may be an emerging market. It may be a non-existent market. But this is the way to size the market, total available market.